What's up guys welcome back to Android notification tutorial number 8. Now in this video we are going to design the normal view notification in our special activity case. Now let us quickly jump onto the Eclipse. So here inside the Eclipse we had our project notification special activity fine. So here we are having the main activity which I have named as activity A and inside it we are having the on click attribute method show notification as I showed you in the previous video. Now here for the normal button for for this show normal view button we are having this case be normal. So this method I have created show normal view notification in special activity. Now let us create this method. Click on it. Fine. So at the downside it creates a method for us show normal view notification in special activity. Let us remove this garbage. Now here what was our first step? Now our first step is to set the style and the second step is set the basic content of the notification. Now since this is a normal view notification so we don't require to set the style. Fine. So we have to follow from the second step onwards set the basic content of the notification. So let us write the codes for our step number 2. Now next set auto cancelable to true. Now next set the set content title as special activity normal view notification. Now next set the content text as string content text. Now this content text is equivalent to this content text. Hey I am watching the Android videos of Smarthood. I am enjoying a lot. It's amazing. Fine. Now our next step. Now next set the small icon as r.drawable.android icon. Fine which I have stored inside our drawable folders. Right. Now at last set the ticker. Hey this is ticker. Fine. Now this completes our step number 2 which is to set the basic content of the notification. Now let us check out our step number 3. Now guys our step number 3 is to set the intent of the notification and action buttons which I am going to show you in the next video. Now as of now let us complete our step number 4 pass the notification through notification manager notify method. Fine. So for that. So let us skip our step number 3 and let us come to our step number 4 to pass the notification through notification manager notify method. Fine. Now let us write the codes. So notification space notification object equal to builder dot build. Fine. Now here I have defined a manager of the notification manager class. After this I have typecasted it and this dot get system service notification service. So nothing new till here. Then after that our last sentence of the step 4 manager dot notify this is the unique id that we supply here and this notification we are passing through the notify method and this notification is nothing but this notification object fine. So this completes our step number 4. Now guys let us come to our step number 3. Let us do this step in this tutorial itself. Now here the codes are bit different to what we did in our regular notifications. Here the codes are as follows. Let us create an intent space main intent equal to new intent fine. Now let us write this space our next parameter let's write activity b dot class fine now after this let us set the flags dot set flags intent dot flag activity new task yeah here we go this is it then let us give a pipe sign we need to add another flag intent dot flag activity clear task yeah the second one fine now guys this statement why we are setting the flags I will just explain you. So please don't bother about it. Fine. Now our next step is to pass this main intent through the pending intent. So let's write our pending intent space pi underscore main 
equal to pending intent dot get activity fine now let us give the context as get application context request code let us make it zero then after this intent what is our intent this is our intent main underscore intent so let us write it here main intent now let us set the flags also here pending intent dot flag update current fine now so this completes our step number three now our last step is to modify the codes in the manifest file that is we have to declare this activity b in our manifest file now there is a separate codes to define the activity b inside our manifest file let us open our manifest file fine here inside the application tag let us type our new activity activity let us give a name dot activity b fine now after this let us write our launch code sorry launch mode which is actually single task fine now after this let us write task affinity now always leave it blank now after this let us write exclude from recents now make it true now guys this task affinity will work combinedly with this flag set flags flag activity new task and flag activity clear task now what it do suppose if you click on the notification and the same application is opened so what it do this flag actually clears the task it actually empties the stack and opens a separate activity which is the activity b so on the press of the back button it will automatically move you to the home screen so here we don't need to write our back parent back stack activity which was present in the regular notification activity fine let us save our application and let's check the codes if everything is fine yes step number 2 the basic codes of the notification step number 3 set the intent and pass it to the pending intent fine this is the intent of the main notification right we have not yet added the action buttons now after this step number 4 pass the notification through the notification manager notify method quite simple guys and finally inside the manifest file we have added the activity b in this way fine now let us run our application now our app is running now let us click on the show normal view button hey this is sticker working perfectly fine now let us click on our notification oops guys the code is not working i think i did some mistake here yeah in the step number 3 i just forgot to add one more statement which is builder dot set content intent which is pending intent fine now So now let us save it and run it again hopefully this time it will run successfully now let us click on the show normal view button now let us move out of this app fine now let us in the navigation drawer click on this notification bam activity b gets opened so our application is working perfectly fine now guys if you notice in the title bar in the left side there is no back button because this is our special activity now if you press the back button then the home screen appears instead of the parent back stack because in the parent back stack we have not initialized any activity that is why the home screen is getting opened so i will add the action buttons in the next tutorial which is again going to be quite simple codes guys so catch you guys in the next video meanwhile if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel and please leave a comment below my video and thanks for watching have a good day